kicks it out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. Just miss hit that one. Going to give Sam Houston excellent field position here with 5.41 to go. Free kick out of bounds on a kicking team. Colby plays the 35-yard line. First down. Meanwhile, Eric Schmidt, you got to wonder about his health. He's been hit a ton in this game. He is a competitor. He has sat right in there and taken the best of South Dakota State. Bent backwards, ankle, and retake, just shot after shot. And he keeps coming back. He's got a big finish here ahead of him. They're going to run it. Ramon Jefferson trying to get the edge. He can't splatter at the 33. He loses yardage. There's a Grimby again tracking down the ball carrier and taking him to the ground for a one-yard setback. Well, Grindy is some athlete, and he's not only rushing the passer, but he's playing sideline to sideline. And we're talking about a defensive end, who just adds a, a another dimension and another level of speed to this Jackrabbit defense. So it's second down and 11, five minutes to go. South Dakota State outscored Sam Houston 14 0 here in the fourth. They get the ball into Ezard's hands, but not a lot of room after the catch. Pushed out of the 39. Sam Houston has been the comeback story, though, of the FCS playoffs down against North Dakota State in the fourth. Down big against James Madison late in the third, and obviously won both games. Yeah, they're going to have to reach in the bag of tricks and find a, a third comeback in a row. If they're to win the national championship today against South Dakota State. You would think four down territory, third down and six, pass to the sideline, and yes, first down catch by Jaquez Ezzard. So you're going to your best player here down the stretch. Yeah, throw a couple of hitch routes, and then all of a sudden you got to hitch and go. They're playing close on him. Okay, I, I'm going to sit it down right now. That's the second one in a row. So you're going to get Gardner biting at some point where you want him to roll the dice, and then I'm going to hitch and go and go over the top of it. They've got a safety that's camping out right on the back end, just in case. They're thinking the same thing you are. Quick throw to this side. Harvin made the catch and tackled inbounds at midfield. So a gain of about four. Immediately after the game, stay tuned for the trophy presentation on ESPN3. Will it be Sam Houston or South Dakota State winning its first FCS championship? Second and six for the Bearcats. At the 49 of South Dakota State. Run play. Jefferson breaks free at the 45 and down to the 40. First down. 335 to go. Nice little dead leg move there by Ramon Jefferson. And we, we've talked about it. I mean, just over and over, big plays in which to convert for first downs. Number four has been able to deliver for Sam Houston. FCS did not have football in the fall. Hard to say that it's been worth the wait, but it's been fun. Spring football in mid-May is, boy, that pass was way off the mark, and it looked like the day he was open. He thought he was held. So it's second down and 10. The clock stop with 3.13 to go. Ball at the 40-yard line of South Dakota State. I actually thought it was Harvin that blew a route. He's sitting down when in the, that coverage look, he would convert to a fade and Smith thought the same thing that he was going to continue on he just pulled his route up Smith the Southland Conference player of the year gonna throw it here with pressure in his face takes a shot downfield as her tip come up with it incomplete Gardner in coverage Ezard has come down with every jump ball in this game except that one. Well, if he, if they don't blitz here, he's got a time to throw it, but it's because of the pressure coming off the edge that Schmidt really couldn't step into that throw. I mean, there's big-time pressure, and he's still able to get it out there where Ezard has a chance to make a catch. Now it's third and ten. Ford on territory at the 40-yard line of South Dakota State. Noah Smith in the game at running back. A dual threat as a pass catcher and a runner. And that's where the ball was going. Smith being chased. Breaks the tackle. Smith at the 35. Takes a shot. Dives out of bounds. We'll see where they spot him. Close, but it's not going to be enough 
And so I think if you're Casey Keeler, you're going to have to go for it here on fourth down. Meanwhile, Don Gardner, their best cover corner, is shaken up, which means if South Dakota State doesn't use a timeout, he's going to have to come out for play. And there's another defender down for South Dakota State. We'll try to get a number for you. But it is fourth down and one at the 31-yard line. And because Sam Houston has only that one timeout, obviously this is the play of the game, probably their last possession. Boy, just the ability to compete. Both Eric Schmidt and Isaiah Davis for South Dakota State. He may have gotten the first down when they go back and look at this. Yeah, that's close. Pylon Cam right there catching everything. So it was Dyshawn Gales that was the other injured player for South Dakota State. They are marking the ball a full yard short of the line to gain. With 2.58 to go, Sam Houston ball third and or fourth and one. And Coach Keeler's 31. giving them a, an earful over there on that spot. And over and over, we talked about it. Tons of times, you need a big play, Who, who's delivered for you? If you're Sam Houston, it's been Ramon Davis, excuse me, Ramon Jefferson, and Isaiah, Isaiah Davis, and uh, Ramon big stuff. It's been Ramon Dave Jefferson has been big for Sam Houston. Fourth down and a yard. Schmidt's gonna keep it, beautiful call. He gets the first down. And out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Great yes. fake by Eric Schmid. Got everybody going to the right. He went left, and he got 11 yards. And he got everybody thinking the way I was thinking about Ramon Jefferson. They go crashing down inside. You've got an athletic quarterback forcing South Dakota State to play 11 on 11. They didn't there, and they pay by giving Schmid the first down. Clock is moving to 222 and counting. Schmidt in trouble again, gets hit and sacked. There's a flag down, might be offside, and then a vicious tackle by Ogrindy yeah, in they, the backfield. Got to blow that one dead once he's around the line of scrimmage because Schmidt's taking a beating. Offside. Defense number 22. But Five once, penalty, deep first down. Once you see that he is you know, free on the quarterback, the whistles have to blow. We were trying to, you know, give the play a chance in case he gets it out of there, but he's been beaten all day, taking a beating all day, and got to blow that one dead. Meanwhile, there is an injured offensive lineman for Sam Houston. 2.17 to go. It's going to be first and five for Sam Houston at the South Dakota State 17-yard line, trailing by four, one timeout remaining. Each team seeking its first national championship. Eric Schmidt has taken a beating all day, been spitting up blood on the sideline, hurt his ankle, contact injuries, non-contact injuries, but he just keeps playing. And how about the trust in him and his toughness to put the ball in his hands on that fourth down call to run the ball and pick up the first down? He's been doing it all year for this team and for this offensive unit. It's four down territory from here to the house, the last two minutes and 17 seconds. Asks, they're asking him to deliver one more time for a national championship. Clock started on the ready for play. 2-11 and counting. First down and five for Sam Houston in the red zone. Schmidt's going to keep it here, and he's brought down the backfield for a loss of five on the play. Michael Griffin starting safety with the tackle. Boy, if he gives this one to Jefferson, he may be into the end zone. They get everybody up the field, and he's got a nice crease right there. If he just gives it, nobody touches Jefferson, but he tries to keep it, maybe doing a little bit too much. Dave and missed an opportunity for his running back, Ramon Jefferson. They lose the five yards they got on the offside penalty at second down and 10. Now they do hand it off to Jefferson, but he is level. Good tackle by Bach, wrapping him up at the 20-yard line. So it's going to be third and eight, a minute 23 to go, four down territory, one timeout remaining for Sam Houston. Now, the one thing we haven't seen today out of Ezard is a slant, something inside. He's gone vertical, he's hit run hitch routes. Well, now may be the time where you, you set him up outside and come underneath. 
They got to get set up here. They're taking a lot of time off the clock. Ezard coming over here to the bottom of your screen in the trips formation and third down and eight inside a minute to go. And nobody's on it. I mean, nobody's covering Ezard, which forces South Dakota State to take the time out. They got a little mixed up with the formation. And that helps Sam Houston because the play clock was winding down and they don't have to use their last time out. 53 seconds to go. Last time, last thing you want to do is leave number 12 uncovered. He'll be dancing in the end zone on you. So third down and eight. Eric Schmidt has been the comeback kid for Sam Houston against North Dakota State with about three and a half to go. He gives his team the lead with that rushing touchdown and a 20-yarder at the end of the third quarter. When Sam Houston was down 27 10 at one point, with that touchdown, they went up 31 27. They added to the lead, ended up winning by three. And here they are down four with 53 seconds left with a third down and eight at the South Dakota State 20. I don't know that I'm going to try to get it all to where it's fourth down and short and live there. And if you do, it'll be a run and a catch, a catch and a run for the only to pick up the first down here. Jefferson is the running back. Third and eight, Schmid the throw. In trouble, moves to his right. Gonna keep it here inside the 20, goes high up into the air. And out of bounds, short of the line to gain by about three yards, and they say that he's inbounds, so the clock is moving. Sam Houston can stop the clock and will with its final timeout with 38 seconds to go. It is. This is what you work for. This is what you spend all those, all the time in the weight room, running sprints, running heels, all the stretching, all the practices, all the film study to get to this point, to win a, a chance to win a national championship. Put it all on the line. Go airborne. Anything you can do to will your team to a victory is what you lay on the line right now. All right, take me here to your thoughts on what you do on fourth down and three at the 15-yard line. Run or pass? I'm, I'm going to put the ball in Eric, Eric Smith's hands and move it. I'm not going to leave him stationary in a drop-back position. Take advantage of his ability to make plays on the move. He's made good decisions in those situations as well for the most part today. Sam Houston out of timeouts. Boy, I, I really thought Schmidt was out of bounds on that play and that the clock should have stopped and Sam Houston would have been able to keep that timeout. Well, that's it. You know, first down and the game continues. But they're not. They're obviously past right. that at this point. So fourth down and three, 38 seconds to go. No timeouts remaining. Got to get to the 12-yard line of South Dakota State. And you got to be quick if you do pick up the, the first down and stay in bounds. They shift Smith into the backfield here. Schmid throws. Ezard slipped, and he still caught it for a first down at the 10-yard line. Got to clock, gotta clock it right now. Clock stops to move the chains. It'll restart on the ready for play. It's first and goal. They're going to run a play here. Schmidt to throw from the pocket. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Going for Schley in the near corner. 24 seconds to go. Second and goal. Sam Houston down four. How about the play to Ezra? Just everybody in the building knows that he's the primary receiver. Just a nice little hitch route. He slips, but still able to make a play when needed to give him the first down. If they go that way again here. Well, you've got the matchup that's down here. It's one-on-one -on -one safety help over the top, but that's been one heck of a matchup to watch. Schmidt will throw it again. Fires to the right side and complete going for Sly. Oh, man, I think Ezard was open he in the was. back of the end zone, and he threw it into double, maybe triple coverage. It is third down and goal with 21 seconds left. Yeah, good point. I think he had his mind made up where he was going with the football. But Ezard pops open because Gardner passes him off. They're in zone. You see him open and just kind of pass him off to the coverage. And nobody, the safeties, go racing to the flat. Ezard's wide open. Ezard lined up now in the slot to the left of Eric Schmidt on third and goal with 21 seconds left. Play clock down to five. Schmidt back to throw. Fires over the middle. And it is caught. It's a touchdown. Pulls it in, and Sam Houston has the lead with 16 seconds left. Dave, they worked the edges of the defense all game long. 
And sooner or later, a slant, some in-cut route was going to present itself. They waited till the, the most important time in the game to go to a day or Ezzard to play before, but it was right over the middle of the field. And, hey, that's drilling one right there. Stepping into a throw, that's all you got. And he's accurate with it. Excellent throw and a nice catch on the back end to give Sam Houston a lead here with not much time left, just 16 seconds. 